Dear friends, my name is Dr. Ashok Seth, and I'm the chairman of the Fortis S. Scott's Heart Institute and the chairman of Fortis Medical Council. And with me today is my friend, Professor Andras Baumbach, a leading interventional cardiologist who's based in London. Today, we're going to have a discussion around the innovative treatment, the non-surgical treatment. It's called transcatheter aortic valve implantation, or TAVI, as its short form. Let me just explain to you briefly what this is about. Aortic valve is one of the most important valves of the heart, which due to a number of reasons, most importantly due to aging, has calcium deposited on it. Therefore, the valve fails to open and blood therefore is impeded in a manner of getting out from the heart to the rest of the body. When that happens, and usually that happens in the elderly beyond the age of 65, there's not enough supply of blood going to the brain or to kidneys or to the rest of the body, therefore creating problems of breathlessness, sudden loss of consciousness, even strain on the heart to failing heart and suddenly death. Now, traditionally, these valves have been treated by surgery, surgical replacement of the valve, whereby the valve, the open heart surgery is done, the heart is put on a bypass pump, and then the valve is cut out and a new valve sutured in and the chest closed. A very successful and a long-standing procedure. But clearly, there are a number of patients who can't actually have surgery as age goes on. They have comorbidities, they can have bad kidneys, they could be frail, fragile, they could have bad lungs. They may have had previous surgeries before, a bypass surgery or a valve replacement before, all of which make elderly patients high risk for surgery, and in many cases, really inoperable. So the TAVI treatment, which is a non-surgical methodology like angioplasty, came out and over the years has progressed to its present status, where it could be offered even in lieu of patients who can have surgery. And I think that's an important aspect of discussion which I'm going to have with my friend today, Professor Bombach, who has been involved in this field for last many years and therefore has been pivotal in much of the advancements in science and technology around this. So Andreas, it's good to have you with me. Pleasure. It's a pleasure. How have you seen TAVI progress this innovative technique of non-surgical replacement of aortic valves? You've been part of this progress. How have you seen it progress over the last term? 15, 20 years? Let me just tell you the story. When I, when I first saw a TAVI, it must have been 2007. Um, so that, imagine, I was in Bristol at the time, and our surgeons uh, operated patients with aortic valve stenosis. It's a big operation. You've got your sternum cut open, spread, and then the old valve comes out, and the new valve is sewn in and the patient spends two to three days on intensive care. Uh, and particularly in the elderly patients, uh, there's a lot of things that can go wrong and can prolong the uh, recovery. They get infections, bleedings, and then. So this was the common treatment of aortic stenosis at the time. I went up to Leicester and Jan Kovac at the time was the first to do valves, uh, TAVI valves in the UK. I saw the procedure. He went in the femoral artery, that's the big artery in the groin that leads directly to the heart, put the valve in, closed the groin. The procedure was done within an hour and we were told the patient would go home two days later. And I came home to Bristol and I said, that's a revolution, we have to do that. And then we started as well. And at that time we didn't have the data, but that came later, the evidence then was developed by the community with randomized trials, that is trials where both treatments are compared to each other, surgery versus TAVI. And uh, it turns out that in the end, patients do as well with TAVI as with surgery, in some cases even better. So that we now have a development that if I have a patient for a TAVI, they come in on the day and might even go home in the evening with a new heart valve. That's a revolution. So I think the development has been uh, fantastic and in particular fantastic for patients.